I'm Stephen Williams. And I'm Taylor Pappas. And we're bringing you the news on the wings of an eagle. Greetings, Eagle Nation. It's been a couple weeks, and we're glad to have you again. Of course, I'm joined with my uh, co-host. What's up? Hi. Uh, what are you doing? I'm, we're, we're I'm just texting. Right well, you know, that's actually perfect, because we have a texting while driving PSA for you guys. Good mm -hmm. thing I wasn't driving. Yeah, yeah. good thing. Oof. Last night was some beer layering us done our way, but again, we're back in the light of day. Chatting shit, sitting at the wall table. Telling jokes, playing with the salt, looking out the window. Girl brings two plates of full English over with plenty of scrambled eggs and plenty of fried tomato. Get my phone out. About to give this girl a shout. See if she had a nice time last night uptown. Ask if she fucked yes, herself, that's all. Make sure you keep your cell phone away from you when you're driving. You don't want to become distracted and cause an accident. Got to keep your eyes on the road. Absolutely. Oh, and moving on, you know what my favorite part about fall is? What is that, Steven? The canned food. Oh, it's delicious. And Student Council is doing something about that. Let's take a look. Okay, so this week, um, we started collecting cans for the canned food drive. And the kids are meeting at 6 uh, every night, Monday through Thursday, in the teacher's parking lot. And they get back to the school about 7.45. Um, please come. You can get um, community service hours for NHS or whatever, or just have fun um, doing a good deed. And keep your eye on the courtyard because hopefully some cool things are going to happen there in regard to the canned food drive. If you want to be involved and you can't collect, or even if you can, um, second hour classes, we're going to have a competition. So you bring cans to your second hour class, and in that classroom you need to tally up how many you've had. Um, you can, whenever your class gets too far, you can bring them out to the cafeteria. Over by the store, there'll be a stack of cans. Um, and then the class that has the most accumulation by the end um, will get a pizza party. And you can bring cash as well. Help support those in need. Donate your cans, kids. Now the next piece that we have was the last game uh, for the girls volleyball team against Silver Creek. Let's take a look at that because our girls had a fantastic season. Amazing season. Mm -hmm. On October 22nd, the girls played their very last volleyball game against Silver Creek. They started the night out by announcing their seniors. Thompson Valley's girls volleyball team, led by Jordan King, took the first game with ease against Silver Creek. The second game was a tough game for Thompson Valley. The girls were losing 22 to 24 and came back to win it 26 to 24. By the end of the night, Thompson Valley had beaten Silver Creek 3 to 0. Girls volleyball finished out their season 19 to 4. I think the varsity team did really great. Um, they had a lot of good kills. Jordan did a really good job with her kills. Great job, girls. You really had a fantastic season. They sure did. You know another team that blew my socks off this season? What team would that be? That'd be cross country. Let's see how they did at regional. On Thursday, October 22nd, the Thompson Valley cross country team headed up to Lions to compete in the regional championships. The cross country team dominated the field winning three out of the four races. The JV girls took the top four places in the race, including a victory by Tana Chandler. The JV boys team was also dominant, with a victory by Michael McKenna and four runners in the top ten. The girls varsity team defended their regional title with an upset victory over Greeley Central. Becky Schmidt took second place in the race. Alicia Randall and Karina Ernst also earned all-conference honors. The boys varsity team placed third, led by Gus Wanaka's top five finish.
Great job, runners. Next week, we'll see how they did at State. Absolutely. I can't wait. Another great event that happened this last week was the jazz band put on a benefit concert for the Empty Bulls charity. Let's take a look at that. Although it did not happen within the walls of our own school, it does have a profound impact on our community. It makes a difference in the world. Hello, America. I'm Paul Quakenbush here at the Empty Bowls Benefit for the Poor here at the NBC Suites out by the Budweiser Event Center. The jazz band, as you can see in the background setting up, is playing here tonight, and I think it will be very interesting indeed. The Empty Bowls Benefit is put on by, I'm assuming, the Lamar County Food Bank. People pay $25 a head to eat some soup in bowls like disadvantaged people do at soup kitchens to fund the food bank so we can buy food for poor people and cover administrative costs. To add classiness to the affair, the TV just jazz band was allowed to play for the crowd. They played some jazz hits as well as some Christmas classics for the people there. After they were finished playing, I caught up with the band at Old Chicago to see how they thought they did. Well, the mood was the people seemed to be like they were enjoying the music as well as their bowls of soup. I think we did really good. There were some iffy spots in there, but I think we did really good. Uh, it was actually quite um, pleasurable to play again to play in front of a crowd so large and of people that we never seem to play to. Jazz Bean's doing very well this year. We started out a little shaky, but we do that every year. Uh, we've got two concerts under our belt and a third holiday concert for the student body coming up. I guess they said there's about 600 people there tonight, and uh, it was pretty cool. The kids really stepped up. That's a lot of pressure for them, and they performed great. They were relaxed and, and did a great job. So. Be sure to see the jazz band play at their yearly Christmas concert, the last day of school before the semester ends. Paul Quakenbush, Thompson Valley Broadcasting.